Today, we're going to take a deep dive into the world of clinical trials and why understanding all the phases is crucial for ensuring the safety of new treatments. Clinical trials go through several stages before they even reach human testing, and these phases play a vital role in making clinical trials safer. Clinical trials go through several phases, starting from preclinical studies all the way to post-marketing trials. Let's take a closer look at each phase and why it is essential in ensuring the safety of new treatments. Before a drug can even reach human testing, it goes through preclinical studies. These studies are conducted in laboratories and involve extensive testing on cells, tissues, and animals to assess the drug's safety, dosage, and potential side effects. Preclinical studies help researchers gather critical data and identify any potential risks or safety concerns before moving on to human testing, ensuring that only the most promising and safe treatments progress to the next phase. If a drug passes preclinical studies, it moves on to phase one trials. Phase one trials are the first step in testing a new drug on humans. While they involve a small group of healthy volunteers, they play a critical role in assessing the drug's safety. Researchers closely monitor the participants and collect data to evaluate how the drug behaves in the human body, helping to identify any potential risks or side effects early on. If a drug passes phase one trials, it moves on to phase two. In this phase, the drug is tested on a larger group of patients who have the condition the drug is designed to treat. The goal is to assess the drug's effectiveness and gather more data on its safety and side effects. Positive results in Phase 2 trials may lead to further development and testing in Phase 3 trials, with an increased understanding of the drug's safety profile. Phase 3 trials involve an even larger group of patients and are designed to confirm the effectiveness of the drug. These trials are crucial in providing robust evidence to support the drug's safety and efficacy, as well as identifying any potential risks or side effects in a larger population. Positive results from phase three trials are often required for regulatory approval, ensuring that the drug has undergone thorough evaluation before reaching the market. Once a drug is approved and on the market, phase four trials, also known as post-marketing trials, are conducted. These trials continue to monitor the drug's safety and effectiveness in a larger population over an extended period of time. The data collected from phase four trials plays a vital role in identifying any rare or long-term side effects that may not have been evident in earlier phases, leading to ongoing drug safety surveillance and ensuring the continued safety of the drug in real-world settings. Understanding all the phases of clinical trials is crucial in ensuring the safety of new treatments. From preclinical studies to phase one, phase two, phase three, and phase four trials, each phase serves a specific purpose and contributes to the rigorous evaluation of a drug's safety and efficacy. This thorough evaluation process makes clinical trials safer for participants, ensuring that only safe and effective treatments reach the market, leading to better patient outcomes.